In this After Effects tutorial, we'll be making toilet paper. Yes, toilet paper is a scarce commodity. Let's create a new composition. I'm using a 1080 by 1350 as per usual, 30 frames per second, 10 second time frame duration. I mean, let's just uh, rename this as main com. Main com. First up, let's create this. Uh, 500 by 500 pixel solid and then pre-comb the solid call it outside this will be our site and inside this solid we'll draw a circle or ellipse double click on the icon here you can choose uh, a middle gray let's turn this off this can be your outside if it makes sense if you know where we're going and then this ellipse can double tap U, so this one can be much smaller, 200 by 200. Make it darker, so this will be the hollow. So basically, I have an ellipse and another and, and another ellipse. Let's go back to our main comp here. So this being our side, let's change the scale up. 50%, remove the constraint and then put 50% on the X. Keep 100% on the Y. Open P for position. Let's move it to the side a little. Move it to the top just a little. Later we will adjust it even more. So this is kind of like our side view. So let's create another another uh, solid. Let's do 540 by 1080. Uh, hey, I just uh, want to pause here for a second to say that the source comb for the toilet paper here should be a lot more squarish and less of a long rectangle because of uh, how it stretches with the mesh the mesh walk later on so if you take a look at this animation here i would say that is uh, causing that distortion just before it uh, it turns out I think I can experiment with uh, something shorter than what I'm giving here. A nice rectangle here. Pre-comb this as well. This will be our toilet paper. As you have guessed it. Yes. So let's use a grid. And then for now, this will be like a guide. Increase the border. And let's go back to our main comb here. Let's open this up first. To assist us, let's draw, let's bring in some guides. Control R for the ruler. Bring out our guides. Bring out our guides here. Align it to this, the circle, the squash, the squash circle. Lock, lock our side and then we'll be working, we'll be working on this. And then we can nudge it in just until we touch. Okay, let's search for the warp, uh, mesh warp. Mesh warp, apply it onto this. Okay, so we are going for four rows, two columns, and quality of 10. So let's remember to lock our guides. Click on the mesh warp, and click on this anchor, anchor point here. Hold on shift to select another one. Hold on shift to select three of them together, and let's Drag, let's drag. Okay, drag in to the center of this here. Yep, so we should be in the middle of this. I think we are close enough. Select the mesh walk, click on the anchor here, and then bring the tangent over to sit just nice along this circle arc here. Select the second one and try to find some try to find a similar try to get a similar angle here and then the last one as well okay relatively straight depending on how accurate you want to be yeah and then we have to do the same again just control d duplicate Lock the previous one, we have to do for the underside as well. So uh, what we're going to do, move this up to the top here. Hide our previous one, select this, 
shift select this continue holding shift and select and then let's drag across okay zoom in light this to the side overlapping just a little and then select the next one and try to get a nice a nice uh, straight straight line probably and then the last one here very useful guides we have all right so this is the top one let's bring it below let's bring it below in the layer below here and then we're gonna mask it so let's get a rectangle uh double click the rectangle oops no select outside make sure nothing is selected make sure no layer is selected double click and we have a rectangle shape here the size uncheck the constraint let's do 600 by 600 you can always change that later so let's bring it above this here set the bottom toilet paper to alpha matte shape one or we can just remain the, re, rename this as our matte click v select our selection our selection yes yeah, selection a, increase the size just go below the halfway point man we have something like this and then we turn on the top layer so our toilet paper is like that okay let's come back to our toilet paper source comp let's hide this and then this is the part where you want to put whatever design toilet paper design that you want so you can put a rectangle oh this is what's the size of this this is a 1080 height maybe instead of a 1080 height you want to put a divide by four it's too too small doesn't feel like toilet paper what's a nice toilet paper color white yeah let's try a venetian blinds 20 percent completion with uh, maybe a 45 degree oops oh. 0 45 degree maybe you can add a stroke as well a dark gray stroke maybe 5 pixels and then you can add a feather I'm just making this stuff up so okay, let's duplicate this and we send it to the bottom see how it looks like uh where is white oh because of the venetian blind is it let's apply our solid at the bottom remove the grid are you a very green 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 person this is what we have uh let's apply a adjustment layer control alternate y look for our scroll vertical scroll i'm looking for the vertical scroll and uh that my height is 1080 so i'm gonna divide by two let's see how it looks like <laughs> ridiculous ridiculous oh my gosh why does it disappear oops i have a keyframe here should have known remove the keyframes so let's remove the grids the guides as well it's causing some seizures you can go to the side here make this portion make the hollow portion a shadow as in add a light and dark over here duplicate the hollow and let's just draw it in uh mask out this area oh new click this to create mask okay so we just mask out this area and then what this means that this will be the bottom or bottom hollow this will be the top hollow so the top will be slightly darker actually this is quite dark already and then the bottom will be slightly brighter okay we just need to change this uh mask to subtract because the the light shines from above and then this covers the top and then this is lighter if this if, if you like this but i don't like this <laughs> i i like the uh, 
So I think the the thing might be too fast. Five forty, maybe we do two seventy. And then this uh this vanishing blind might be too harsh. Let's do a feather of four, feather of four, and then I want to spread a message. You know, uh, spread a message. So let's bring in our text to no more paper, something like that. <laughs> Rotate negative 90 degrees. Let's plant it in the middle and then let's make it black. Okay, maybe not black, uh, dark gray. Dark gray. Just duplicate this, bring it to the side here. This is below the adjustment layer, so let's bring it down and just double check that it loops it doesn't loop double check the adjustment layer 270 what's my comp size comp height 1080 1080 divided by 10 108 my gosh my math is mixed up 108 times 2 216 should be better now always take the chance to always take the chance to spread some propaganda message so this is cute i hope you found this entertaining